Can you guys guess what this is? It's bacon. <laughs> it's it's bacon. There we go. There's the bacon. Uh, I wasn't going to have bacon this morning, but uh, my friends uh, messaged me and they were eating bacon. And I'm like, oh, bacon. So I'm having some bacon. Good morning. Happy Easter. Hope you guys had a good Easter. Hope you uh, practiced uh, everything that you're supposed to be practicing right now. And uh, you guys are dirty, so we'll get through the intro. I'll clean you up and we'll see what the day brings today. Electrical. You guys will remember that I started this a few days ago. And the one thing, it looks easy from down here, but I, and I'm not gonna show upstairs, but upstairs, not so easy at all. Frankly, it's a pain in my butt. So I am going to get my gloves on. I'm gonna get a long shirt on because there's fiberglass up there and I'm going to mask up and get this done. Um, I believe aside from lighting, I think this is the last one that I need to do on the peak side of the roof up there, the ceiling. So yeah, okay, gonna get to it. Fun times. Are you ready? Gosh, I wish you had opposable thumbs. You could help me. I have a Buffy statue. Speak! Speak! <laughs> Good girl. Oh my goodness. Whisper. Good girl. Whisper. Good. Go, go, girl. Speak. No, speak. Speak. <laughs> Good girl. Whisper. <laughs> Such a good girl. Okay. Okay. That, gosh, she was just a statue there. I probably had to reverse the audio on that clip so the background music doesn't show up, but yeah, that was funny. Okay, I am procrastinating now. I just got down from upstairs and oh my gosh, that was horrible. That was so horrible. I'm not claustrophobic, but man, when you're up there and you're right underneath the roof to where there's nails poking through because of the, the roof that you had, a, had put on. Um, they put down a new uh, underlayment, so new plywood on the whole roof. So there's some nails that are just like sticking through, like you take your head and you go like that, you're freaking getting a nail in your head. So I stuck that wire up there as far as I could reach or as far as it would go until it stopped. And then I went upstairs and I've got this uh, piece of plywood, or uh, paneling actually, that I lay down so I'm not laying on the insulation. And I put it in between the, uh, the two rafters, the two beams, support beams that go across, whatever, so that I don't fall through the roof, the ceiling. <sighs> and anyway, I grabbed it. I mean, I was like sitting there, I was like, Arr! and the mask was on top of the plywood, or the paneling. And my face was like right there. They got the roof right here. And I'm like, just squeezing to try and get it. And I felt it and I'm like, oh. So I start to pull it and it's not coming. I'm like, oh. So I go down a little bit and I pull it and it starts to come. I'm like, yes. So I have enough up there that I know I'm making this really dramatic, but it is, it's really dramatic. I'm gonna be scarred for life or longer. Okay. So yeah, so I have to uh, get some more slack and then go up there, so. Oh, the hard part is kind of done. Oh, man. Well, the roll's a little smaller now. And now I'm a little sweaty. Woo! So here we are, just pulling cable. Woo this is what I was talking about, guys. I had to get down way, not in that peak there, but in the peak over there. I know I said I wasn't going to film this, but, oh, look at that. Gross. Disgusting. Just pulling the cable. Woo! Seems like every clip I'm starting out with this 
view right here. So this right here is going to be the uh, dishwasher. Uh, any new circuitry is added that is added requires a combination arc fault interrupter. These are very expensive. You get a regular circuit breaker, like a 20 amp circuit breaker for like 12 to $18 somewhere in there. This thing right here is like almost $50 each. And we're altering many circuits. And even if you don't install a new circuit, if you alter an existing circuit, you have to upgrade. <sighs> anyway, it's RAM. So there it is. <laughs> Next thing we have to do is kill the power, take the, the cover off, and then wire this thing in very carefully. And I'm not an electrician, but it stands to reason that once you drop it to your panel, you take care of all the work at the panel first, just in case you mess up or something, you can still feed yourself some extra line, or I guess that's line, right? That's what they call it. Uh, you can still feed yourself extra wire if you need to, if you make a mistake, versus taking care of this end and getting this all taken care of and then going and attaching it to your meter and be like, oh, shoot, I just made a mistake and now I don't have enough. So you have to run it all over again because you cannot connect a wire without it being in a junction box and that junction box cannot be hidden behind a panel. So let's say this wire right here, let's say you cut it too short, so you wanted to cut it right here. You would need to put in a junction box here, make the connection in the junction box, and it would have to be an eyesore uh, right there. So it'd almost be like, oh, let's uh, add cabinet lighting right here. An outlet for cabinet, cabinet lighting, you could do that. But uh, <laughs> yeah. But then, then things don't match. Then your laundry room would be on the same circuit as your cabinet lighting, and that would just be weird. All right, guys, here we go. Ow! Oh, why'd you do that? Why'd you do that? Oh, you did that. Ow, get back in there. <clears throat> okay, okay, well, I'll watch out for that. At least it's not sharp. <laughs> in five, four, three, two, Now, I'm gonna go put on, uh, I'm gonna put on some rubber gloves too. <laughs> so I'm gonna put on some rubber gloves. Why? Because these are still live. These come from the power meter. So I've got my lead down here. I'm, well, it's dark in here now. I wanna put in this breaker, wire it up, and then go on from there. See, look, look how neat. That wasn't me. What's me? Well, that's kind of me. See, I'm doing everything as neat as they did it when they switched out this power meter years and years ago. Woohoo! All right, and there we go. All ready for the dishwasher. Extra lead cut out comes out to about uh, about right. Uh, actually, about like right here. So there's plenty there to hook up to the dishwasher before you put it back in. So that's done. That'll go through the drywall. One more done. So I've got two more circuits in here to run. Not tonight. I don't know why that took me all day. That was that was not an easy thing. I really have to hand it to electricians, especially electricians that do old work. Doing new work, like if the ceiling wasn't here and you were just, because that's when they do electrical, right? It's when drywall hasn't been put up yet. It's just the frame all the way around and you can like go like in between over here or go in there to the living room and just like walk through everything and make it real quick, drill your holes, do it. You don't have to deal with insulation and drywall and dust and I'm complaining, I'm sorry, <laughs> but it's done. So all the electrical, all the electrical on these walls are done done um, I need one for the microwave circuit right there microwave it's gonna go up above mic microwave and blower and then I need another one ran down for the stove and the outlet I can run both of those because this is a gas range it's not an electric range which would need its own dedicated circuit Whew. all right and then after we get those two then we do the lights in here after we do the lights in here then we put the drywall on the ceiling so we get rid of all this nasty crap that's going on up there I hate filming that I hate filming this kitchen but you guys saw the bathroom and you saw what we did with the bathroom. So just envision it. Have the same vision as us. Be like, oh, I see what you guys are doing. Yeah? No? Okay. Drop it. Hey, 
Drop it. Good girl. Get it. <laughs> oh, jeez. She almost endoed. I will warn you guys, if you play with your uh, dog with a, uh, with a ball, if you play with a ball with your dog. Is that right? If you play ball with your dog, that's it. If you play ball with your dog, always be careful. Make sure that they don't catch it up. Don't throw it up and have them catch it if the ball's this big. Here's why. Um, I had a German Shepherd Collie back when I was a kid, and my dad and I were throwing a ball to her in the backyard. This ball was approximately this size, maybe a little smaller, but I, th I think it was about this size. And it had a bell in it, so it also had like a little hole. My dog caught it in the air. It went down her throat, and it got stuck right here. And I started freaking out, and my dad ran over to my dog. And luckily, that ball, luckily my dad has small hands, and uh, that ball, the little hole was up. So my dad was able to get his pinky in it and pull it out of her throat. <laughs> so, don't have your dog catch a ball in the air. Important safety tip for all canine kind. <laughs> right? 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 <laughs> now watch us. Confuse the dog. You, you know it's time to stop when the balls start getting slobbery. All right, ball cam. Well, guys, it was a very beautiful day today. I really hope that you had a good Easter and uh, spent it on webcam with the people that you love. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I guess my electrical is kind of like uh, Pringles, right? Can't have just one. So this right here is what I started to install for the um, oven. And then I found out that I couldn't have the oven and the refrigerator on the same circuit. So I had to do the oven and just a regular outlet on the same circuit. So I had to like do this. So this is going to go to, where'd it go? Where's my GFCI at? I had it around here somewhere. So this is going to go to the GFCI. This is the, the load side. The line side, I'm probably gonna to run tomorrow if I have time. And then I need to do another box here, or another box right here for um, the, uh, what I just got through saying, the microwave above the stove. And then that line will drop in from right here. So these right here, these are two pretty easy lines to do. And then, oh, shoot. <laughs> so yeah, so I gotta get this done and then we'll drop two lines and I need to purchase one more breaker. And then, then we'll get on with the lighting. And I also took a look at the website for the inspector, and of course, because of everything that's going around right now, uh, this can't be inspected right now. So that kind of throws another monkey wrench into our <laughs> uh, situation and everything. So what we're going to end up doing is finishing the electrical in here, finishing the lighting in here, putting the drywall up, and then we're gonna put the cabinets temporarily back on the walls. We're just gonna screw them into the studs wherever, wherever they'll fit. That way we can kind of have a semi-living space, a semi-functional living space for now. Because it's already been this way for what? Over a month now, I guess. Wow. But I have to say that making coffee in my living room is freaking awesome. It's so cool. Every living room should have a coffee pot. Where is your guys' coffee pot? Probably in the kitchen, but if it's not in the kitchen, put it in the comments. Or as an alternative place for a coffee maker. I can also see the bathroom too. If you had a big enough bathroom, do your hair, shave, drink coffee at the same time. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay, got this wired in and this right here is just temporary. This is how you have to do the ground on it. You can't connect two grounds, but when you have one ground coming down and then the other one coming from here, you have to connect two grounds. So you have to actually piggyback it and wire nut it together. So that's just temporary for right now. I've even went and stuck this stuff up there like quite a long ways, much, much easier than over there. And then what was the other thing I just did? I just got through uh, drilling a hole where I want the light to go and I put a little uh, wire, a piece of uh, wire up there sticking straight up. 
so I can locate the hole and see if I have enough space around it next to the beam up there. Progress! <laughs> Puffy is so tired. I ran a ragged with the ball, and then later on we also went into the front yard and um, played frisbee for a little bit too. She is one tuckered out doubt. All right, so here we go, guys. COC commenting on comments, or COD for short. So here we go. Uh, first comment of the night, um, Capazone 2, you say uno, which means one, but you're not. You're dos, but you're actually first comment, so you're uno dos. Mr. Barot, you say several days last week, I got home late after work. Could not be here in time before the vlog started, but I did hit the thumbs up, which everyone should be doing. Hey, he's the one that accentuated it, not me. Although... I agree. Real fan Jason, while we haven't heard that had that kind of pollen build up here yet, my sinuses approve. Hope everyone had a good weekend and happy Easter to those who celebrate it. Yes, happy Easter to all of you who celebrate. And oh yes, Harry Potter, The Prisoner of Azkaban was one of my favorite of all the Harry Potter movies, but Order of the Phoenix was one of the best too, though it also has something happen in it that still uh, ticks you off to this day. Wow. Can't wait to see it. In fact, I think that I have seen this one. Or maybe not. Isn't this the one? Is this the one? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. In fact, Phoenix will be here this weekend. We're celebrating Easter this weekend. All being well and all going as planned. Angie will be here this weekend. This next weekend is going to be epic. I'm so excited. So what? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Four more days. That's all we have to wait. Four days, guys. Four days. <laughs> okay. Um, Darth Anger, you say that you have a fairly bad allergy to pollen, and it's affected some of the foods you eat. And I read through that. It's like, oh my goodness, dude. I'm that. That sucks. I'm sorry. Carrie Ann Olson, you say that your care package should be there. I'm guessing around Saturday or so. So check next Monday. Awesome. Thank you, Carrie Ann. Bruce Kimmel, the shark gets blown up at the end. Sorry for ruining it. Oh, man, is that Harry Potter Sharknado? Oh, and let's see. Uh, the final comment of the night is Willow. Uh, good to hear from you again. And you say, Happy Easter. Keep on vlogging. Oz to Buffy missing Coda. And just want to know when or if you will do a haunt again. Dude, yes, of course we're doing a haunt. Um, I, I just don't know when. And the state of the world is going to have to settle down a little bit first. <laughs> So anyway, all right, that's it, guys. Happy haunting. Thank you so very much for watching. If you made it this far in the vlog, I really appreciate it because not a lot of people make it this far. So if you've made it this far, post it down in the comments. One comment with just this phrase in it, nothing else. If you want to leave another comment, that's fine. But I want a single comment with, I made it. That's all I want you to say. I made it. And um, if you made it this far, then you get to... Uh, witness me saying that hopefully today when you see this or tomorrow you're going to possibly witness something really awesome so that's all I'm going to say but you've made it this far so that's good happy haunting thank you guys so very much for watching I'm also looking for fresh outros please if you guys want to do an outro I would really appreciate it I'm looking for funny witty um, hi I'm so and so you are watching or have been watching because I'm thinking about doing an intro again uh, beyond 1031 um, and and that's about it. No longer than 10 seconds. Uh, so that's it. Happy haunting. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hi, I'm Marie Winton from the YouTube channel Marie Winton and you've been watching Beyond 1031. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe and get outside and have yourself an adventure.